Thank you very much to be here. Yesterday, I told to Jeremy, to my son, Finchi, that I had a very bad day. Even tomorrow morning, I have a very bad day. Very bad day. I saw my office, the manager project, and really, when I saw this project, I said, this was my project, but this is a sheet. <laughs> and I tried to kill them. There are a lot of people. It was not easy. I wanted to kill them. But as, uh, I am, uh, after I understood that I was the only one responsible of this. Uh, because I do uh, these things, which is very lovely for me, perhaps I don't know for you, but after I am, I am an architect, and I had to decide all what we are doing, all the details, all the materials, each piece of the building. And this project is very huge. Uh, but tomorrow I come back, uh, I want to go on. I am just an architect. This is what I want to be. No, I didn't want to be an architect. I want to be a painter. But my mother say, say me when I say, I want to be a painter, she said, I see the image of your fallit bankrupt behind you. And I was so afraid of this. My mother has died when she was 101 years. And then I, she said, no, now you go to the university. You decide what you want to do. And then I said, well, I can do philosophy. She was professor of philosophy. She said, no. She said, no. And after I have no idea, that idea, I say, architecture? Yes, this could be good for you. And that's I start this. In the first two years, I start to do... I say, now I want to do this very fast. After I go away, I can do my paintings. And after the first year, the first two years, I did a lot of examinations. Everything is okay. And uh, all my colleagues in this school say, Fuchs is an awful young guy, ah, he doesn't take care of architecture. And after, I arrived in London. I was uh, yet 18 years old. And I was working in, the, in one hotel, I think. No, I was, uh, uh, this time was uh, uh, clean the dish. This cleaning. I did this. And after I did the even, the, uh, and after I was upgraded, I did a pizza. This was upgraded. I had more money. <laughs> and after I met one friend of mine in the, I don't know, Trafalgar Square, he told me, hey, You are a student of architecture. I tell you, yeah, there is something interesting for you. You are a painter. Good to see them. They are very crazy. They are not really architects. They are like in garage. You can work there. You... And, I, and I went there. Uh, and this place was uh, Archigrab. I never heard before. Archigrab. What is? And after I saw that they make some collage, some paint, drawings. This could be good. I said, I can do something. Yes, we don't pay you. You can do what you want. <laughs> but don't destroy the materials. And that I started this way. Then, now I show you something. Otherwise, you say, I have to, to, to show you something. Too much light? No. Oh, good.
This is a homage to Holland. You know why? Because uh, this building is a part of a complex. This is in Eindhoven. Eindhoven is a place where we, I work, uh, I did a central area. And uh, the first thing that I discovered in this video, that uh, this was Philips Festival, it's like your festival, Festival of Light, that the architecture is a support, a support of surface. Architecture can be a place that an artist can use. And uh, I discovered after that many of my projects, our project, Dorian and me, Doriana is no here, but I love still there. Then uh, it's a place that they can use. And for, for perhaps uh, that I did always in my life the same thing. I, this is the building during the day. Uh, they call this blob, but it's the name that I, I, I gave it to this object. You know, they say to me, what is the name of this object? Blob. Just blob. And after the piazza, the entrance of us, this is the, the biggest parking of my life that I did for bikes. I discovered that here they use quite only bikes. I did a parking for bikes. And they were so happy. And after I did something else, this is uh, and steel, uh, and uh, I tried to reorganize the city. And this building is just in front of the building on the Joe Ponti. And they say, why you build this? To see Joe Ponti. <laughs> to go there to watch Joe Ponti. You know who, uh, who was Joe Ponti? No. no. How many people of you know Joe Ponti? One, uh, you are so culty educated. <laughs> too much, too much, too much, too much. I am thinking always the, 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 the worst. Then uh, Joe Ponti built this uh, for, uh, this is uh, a magazine, a magazine, no, a magazine, a store, a store, how do you say? Office store. Department store, perfect. Yes. Department store for one company that is still living there. And, uh, and there is uh, the tiles there. And I want that uh, everybody can see the tiles, the magic, happy and dramatic way in which tiles take light. And they build something you no know, far from this. Is, you, know, you cannot see the, the, another one is there with tiles. Uh, and after the piazza, 70 September, I think the name, in the night. And after there is, uh, now uh, I found again this project. I remember this project. One night, called me, my office was very late in the night. Uh, someone, he said, are you Mr. Fuchs? Yes, I am. Ah, I want to give you a commitment for a project. You are welcome. <laughs> he said, but uh, the program, ah, there is no program at all. And the budget, how much you want? He said, this is perfect, but it's a little bit crazy. But I said, what are you doing? I am Grappa Nardini. It's 225 years that our family runs this company, Grappa, Grappa, let's say, can you come in Roma to visit me, maybe? So I want to see you a little bit. No, I can come, I, even if I am 
eight years old. He came in Rome. We have a lunch together. And uh, he said, uh, he showed me some images. Some images of uh, the park, in park garden, uh, with uh, some guy he was working with. Uh, this guy was uh, Porcinai, very great uh, paisagist, landscape architect. And then I said, but now, we, do you know what we can do? We can do a place to watch, to see the trees. Yeah, yes, say, it's a good idea. And we did a sketch on the, on the piatto, plate, dish. There is no, the, the, the other side, they say, they say the, I have just this, because uh, uh, he takes the place. This is a theater. This, uh, this is water. This is trees. It's life. And after, we build this. Was uh, oh, what you see now is the last uh, 17, 16, 17 years work. Not very old. The glass is double curve. There was uh, a guy that was uh, living not far from this place. That I remember the name. The name was Bergamini. Uh, he worked after many, many years after for Frank Gehry. He did the project in Paris of Gehry. This guy was so fantastic and uh, the only problem of this, I want to really have very close to these two bubbles, bubbles, bolle. Everybody called this bolle di nardini, but what is bad? The best is this. This is water, but after I discovered three years ago, in summertime, in July, they have a festival of contemporary ballet. And they use this building for contemporary ballet during the winter. It's a place in which they make research, they make meeting. They work, and after this is this, you see, then uh, you can see that uh, architecture is something, the good, for me, a good project is a project in which you can, during the time, use in different way. It's like Teatro Marcelli in Roma, that was, you know Teatro Marcelli in Roma, yes, yes, I know, I know. That uh, in the beginning was a theater, first century, I think. After this was uh, a place where people take out some uh, stones. And after it became a fortress, castle, and after palace, and after house for living. It's still there, it's still beautiful. Then when there is a, this is my really, my obsession. When you have something that can change, can be something. Then this is, a, the only idea was to put the water in second floor and have always the same water without drops inside. This is a Ferrari, you know, Ferrari car. Uh, this uh, I want to do this, uh, by the way, without columns. Stones, stones from volcanic, Italian volcanic, and the big red glass is something like, something like uh, Kubrick. All this project was like Kubrick, cinema, or Kubrick or Hitchcock for me. Do you want to tell me something? You can come in. Huh? Okay. We stop at five minutes, and after we come back. Huh? Okay. I'll show you. No? No, that's no, fine. We can, we can yeah. talk about Kubrick and architecture. Yeah, yeah. no, Kubrick, where do you want? Yeah. <laughs> where, what do you want? <clears throat> 
Well, I think that's a, it's an interesting reference because there is a Kubrickian feel to, to that building because, you know, whether it's 2001 A Space Odyssey or the Clockwork Orange, which actually... You know the years, sir. Uh, 2001 is 71, I think. 68. 68, okay. Six, it's true. Okay. <laughs> Can you check someone? <laughs> yeah. um, but, but I think what Kubrick was an incredible sort of a conceiver of uh, an intense drama. And in that, of course, the, the, the setting, the frame, was really important. But for him, it was a drama. It was, it was the, um, you know, the, um, uh, what would you call it, the conflict between the man and the machine in 2001 A Space Odyssey. And it was in, in um, Clockwork Orange, it was the conflict between, the, well, within the heads of the different people. Um, and I think that he was absolutely brilliant at capturing that anxiety. You know. Yeah, for me, uh, Kubrick is someone that uh, never did the same uh, team, same subject. Yeah, yeah. He did, uh, I don't remember the number. It's only about seven or eight. Seven, seven, yeah. seven. There is, a no, there is only one team they never touched. Mm, mm. You know, surely. I tell you. Yeah. It's, well, uh, it's Western. Yeah. He never did the Western, but he wanted to do a Western. Yeah. yeah. Well, well I, I saw a film of his which isn't shown very much recently, um, Barry Lyndon, yeah. which is of a, a Thackeray novel. And it, it's the same team for all the film. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, that, the film has a theme, but, but it doesn't obviously relate to his other work. Yes. And because if you think of um, uh, Doctor Strangelove, which is you know, an extraordinary film that foretold Nixon, Kissinger, and all sorts of other things that would... You know, yeah. <laughs> it's very contemporary film. Yeah, yeah. Werner von Braun is... Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. And after we we live under the ground for how much? For two hundred years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see. Yeah. And we will see. <laughs> we have to select the best women, the best men, more yeah. women than men, of course. Yeah. It was perfect. Yeah. The film that if you see, it, so say, say, okay, I'll say it. No, 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 you can. Uh, you are the. I'm fine. I host. Yeah, yeah. No, you are host. I don't well, know. Well, we can host. I don't know each what. Other. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we have to nurse each other. Yeah. Uh, then uh, this is uh, a project that uh, without uh, we we didn't want columns. Mm. We want to use. We do everything that you have in the building to have the building suspended was not my idea. I discovered this many years after. Mm. It was an idea of a project that was built in the beginning of the 60s mm. by one people of Buenos Aires, fantastic architect. They did uh, whatever, the, the Bank d'Angleterre, La Banque d'Angleterre. La Banque, Banque d'Angleterre. Yeah. It was this building was all suspended. It was the roof. They did have this. They <laughs> bring. Yeah. It only the, the notes. Yeah. Take the building. Yes. <laughs> he was a very good friend of mine. But I discovered him. That he did this after I met him many years mm. after. Now he's passed. And after this building is only to the. The distances between the t this is Kubrick, mm. exactly what you say, yeah. to monolite. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the distance between two monolite is 4.3, for mm. four, four meters, say 30 centimeters. Right. The tension between. Yeah. yeah. This was. Yeah. And this is in Vienna? No, this is where we did in Vienna. OK, yeah. yeah. This we did in Vienna. Yeah. My tower, two towers, 20 years ago. But it's also Mies van der Rohe. Ah, this is, ah. <laughs> this is, everybody say, yeah. are you, the, the corner is perfect. Yes. You did the, the best corner, the line. They say, 
I didn't care of this. I want only to put the tension between the two monolites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the corner is really that uh, I work a lot. Uh, yeah. I say always, no, I don't care about this. <laughs> and this is the light, I bring the light on. Uh, like many projects I, mm. we did. Dorian is always with me. Eh? I did the master plan. Uh, the other are different uh, uh, distinguished colleagues. Uh, uh, this was uh, before I built the other parts. It's extraordinary because it's not what you think of Vienna at all. You know, Vienna is prim and proper and people wear starch shirts and they wear cufflinks and they polish their This shoes. is the entrance uh, of the way it's interesting for me, this project, yeah. because it's, uh, it's something, it's, uh, yeah. it's, uh, it's something that is... Uh, Near the social housing. Yeah. yeah. And it's uh, the entrance of Vienna from the south. <laughs> Trieste Strasse from Italy. Yeah. And uh, this, I was very happy to build this because uh, there is uh, another obsession in my life. Mm. I am not completely Italian. Eh? <laughs> my name is clear that it's not completely Italian. Yeah. yeah. No, it's. Uh, Vienna was a place when my father died, if you want to know. Eh? I was 60 years old, and, uh, and my grandmother, she was German. Mm. Uh, she was remarried with a historian. Yeah. A daughter became a uh, bourgeois, uh, Austrian yeah. bourgeois. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and then she bring me in uh, in uh, in the south southeast of uh, Austria mm. in Bad Gleichenberg near Graz. <laughs> Graz, uh, I could not when I was child. I could not go to Vienna because Vienna was occupied by Russian mm. all around inside. And my family came from Lithuania. Then I was always uh, something, uh, my father never, uh, he, he, he never wanted to change uh, the passport, even when yeah. it was no more. Yeah. And, uh, and this is uh, okay. And after I built in Vienna, I could not go, I built there. My mother... My grandmother, she was from uh, Strasbourg, but she was German, and they built in Strasbourg. Mm. And there is some other things that uh... <laughs> Yeah, I, well, I think it's interesting that your connection, I mean, being born in Rome and studied in Rome and having lived in Rome, um, you're actually really Central European because there's a Estonia and Lithuania and Northern. My mother, she's from Roma. Your mother's from Rome, but, but your father's family were from... Uh, from middle, middle Europe. Yeah, yeah. And that, that, of course, is a sort of culture that died, some would say, in 1933 or 38 or 45, and it's been very difficult to put it back together again. You know, even, even now we're still struggling with, you know, what's Old East and West. It's always this. It's, uh, it's like uh, some, uh, it's uh, between two things. Yeah, yeah. The Central Europe, Germany. Yeah. German, Austria, Czech, parts of Russia, Belarusia, they are mm. in the middle of something. Yeah. Uh, this is another, sometimes I make paintings before I start to, to build or to try to build. This is a, this is a big draw. It's a, this belongs to my daughters. Yeah. It's a, the first idea of Fiera di Milano. It's a nature, architecture, yeah. teach to the nature how it could be. Yeah, yes. It's, but this is, I see this as, as, a, as a roof. It's a roof, yes. But I say nature, yes. architecture, teach yeah. to the nature. Yeah, yeah that's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, when, uh, and after we built yeah. one mile, mm. 
We did 24 months. It is water, always. Quite all the project because water saves energy. Mm. I but don't want to have a rhetoric uh, of sustainability. The, the roof looks something like water running yeah. in, a, in a river. Take uh, water. Yeah. Bring water inside right. and give it the water to the, all the bills. Yeah. Now, this is the best uh, of my life. Yeah. When you do a project and the people can use this yeah. project. <laughs> when I saw this, uh, I, I say, ah, I am not so stupid. <laughs> they can use our buildings. <laughs> they can live with our... And after the, uh, the mirror, the double ways, it's like Hoffman style of uh, many culture in Middle mm -hmm. European, that this is uh, stainless steel, that I don't want to see this, I want to see the reflect. <laughs> All this project is uh, about the reflecting. Like, like another movie of, uh, of Kubrick. Mm. Yeah. But I did this before, this movie. This is the light <laughs> and the water and the water and the Alps. And the skyline of the building is uh, take the Alps. La Piazza. Without columns, you see? Mm. The, the, the structural engineer that I call was a nice person, Schleich. Yeah. One of the best structural engineers. He's a little bit old, but he's always very clever. <laughs> he helped me a lot for this project. Because I didn't want to have a columns. <laughs> and after this, uh, and after the building can be some other things. Yeah. Can be used. It can be a place where art, when people, they say La Fura des Baus, can use like a piece only to show how much they are good. And not to show how much is the project is beautiful. It's, uh, this is uh, that idea after I did, this I want to show you. <laughs> this uh, is my ego. <laughs> my, it's not really my ego because I was uh, fighting against our first minister in that time. See the, the, the year. Eh? Yeah. You remember who was uh, the minister, Italian prime minister in that time? You remember? Berlusconi? No. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I invited me, for, of course, for inauguration, for the opening. Yeah. It was the biggest project that I ever, never done. Yeah. One million square meters. Very successful, very good, everybody. Mm. I say, no. I don't want to go to the inauguration. Because my mother, I speak about my family, why not? <laughs> She told me that she doesn't want to see me in television, that I shake the end of Berlusconi. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't wait. I didn't wait. And Berlusconi was very hungry. He <laughs> made a big title of them, all the journals of Berlusconi. Folks are saying, take money, it's a shit. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but after... Even if I was not so nice guy, mm. they did uh, this. Yeah. This was a drawing of mine. Yeah. This is my name. Yeah. <laughs> and I am still living. Yeah. <laughs> because it's always... Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it's a Frankfurt. To see the light, the sky mm. inside, in the city. And to see the landscape. Yeah. Tell me something. Okay, well, I think this is a very good example of what you were talking about, that architecture carries a surface. And here the surface is very rich. I see it, huh? it, 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 it curves and it deforms in all sorts of ways. But it's a surface that can pick up different colour, different light, 
different reflections. And so it becomes a very rich, almost like a tapestry, in that you know, it's not literally handmade, but there are different instances that create the individual different moments on that surface. It is uh, certainly what you say is a, a new concept of landscape. Mm. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. <laughs> inside, 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 inside. Then uh, the client say, this is a competition, was a competition that I won against very distinguished colleagues. Mm. Because the client say, in which way I can reach the fourth floor? I say, well, we can do mechanical staircase. Yeah. <laughs> he said, ah, it's a good idea. <laughs> And we did the longest staircase <laughs> in, in Europe. <coughs> it's what, it's, it was very happy because yeah. it works very well. Yeah, it's what, about five floors, six floors? Yeah, yeah. five. Five, yeah. Let's, uh... And the light, I bring always the yeah. light down. But this is movement on, a, you know, it's like one of those machines <laughs> that were thought to explain the universe where you have different objects moving at different speeds. So here you have you know, the, the escalator or whatever it is, yeah. the people walking. You've got the, the different uh, images on the surface. You know, it's, it's, it, it's multi-layers of movement that don't have to fit together. Like cinema. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I try to do cinema. Yeah. Then uh, uh, one day, my daughter speak again in my family. Yeah. One of the two daughters. What daughter say? <coughs> she she decided to do, to be an architect, but she was not very convinced. She went to New York. She had uh, the summer, summer, summer to, to to go to do a master in Columbia. Yeah. And after I uh, I come, I came uh, in New York to visit her. I, I say, no, I have to do. To have a lecture, to talk, yeah. I want to see her. She said, I have to tell you, I am very happy, but I have to tell you, I am doing master, master in cinema. <laughs> but you are architect. He said, but I, do, I did this for you. <laughs> <laughs> OK, OK. And have you worked together on? No, now he's doing the show. Her third uh, film, a long okay, film, right. long metrage. Yeah. Is, uh, the, the third one is the name is App for Netflix. Okay. The name is App yeah. Application. Yeah. It's the story of uh, two persons that uh, decide uh, to use, uh, to understand better what's happened in the application for yeah. sex meeting. Okay. Yeah. And this is a uh, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yeah. <laughs> then, uh, and after, she's okay. Yeah. She's a British uh, actress. Mm. Uh, but him, fall in love. <laughs> fall in really love. He never see her. He cannot see her. Mm. It's only by phone, by computer, by mail. Eh? Yeah. And I fall in love for her. Yeah. And after he discovered, at the end, there is an algorithm. <laughs> she is an algorithm. She's not really, but she was perfectly better than better than everybody. This, I saw this film uh, three days ago. Okay. Okay. This is, an, uh, this is even an algorithm yeah. without columns. Uh. <laughs> yeah. It's a very simple. From the void, came in aspiration, came inside, and after I could go down. Mm. The same holes that you ever see outside mm. become the building inside that bring the light down. Uh, well, they, they remind me a bit of whirlpools in the sea. See. You know, the, uh, this is a very good uh, yeah. dinner. Mm. I hire one architect, one engineer, structural engineer, mm. that was in the office of Schleich. Yeah. And it is very good. Yeah. And we have no, no water inside. 
Yeah, you say, well, well, the big problem was this. Yeah. And after it's okay, it's okay, okay, okay. Yeah. This is the night. We come back. And after there is something very small. <laughs> very small. It's a Roma. We void all these buildings. Also, the first years of or 20th century, uh, there is inside some light mm. that came, and uh, there is a place to see Roma. To do what? Nothing. To see what's happened. Uh, there is a couple, a couple, a dom. It's the dom in English. Then, yes. Dom. Yeah. Dom of Pietro da Cortona. Baroque architect, fantastic architect, with Santa, with this building there. Yeah. Via del Corso, with qui. Or there is other project uh, for Giorgio Armani, a tower, Ginza Tower in Tokyo, and so on. This is uh, an interior because we love it. Interior, we do everything. We do from the knife. Mm. To the tower, right? <laughs> <laughs> For the spoon yeah. to a city, like Gideon say. But did you design any of the clouds? <laughs> Perfect. But well, this, you know this, but no, you don't know this. I, I haven't seen this one. No. Ah. Okay. That this, uh, do, do you want to know even the story of this? Uh, but we have time. Uh. Yeah, we've got time. Yeah. My friend, Mr. Finch, we have time? Yeah. yeah. You said me stop. I stop <laughs> when you want. Okay. Then, uh, one day, George Armani, good friend of Doriana, mm. asked her to Doriana and me if we want to find a solution for this uh, big project, uh, uh, this store, the, the flagship that he has in mm. Fifth Avenue. And this was the idea to, to, to do like a sculpture, yeah. a place that you can come, change the, the section, have different levels. And uh, this was the idea. Uh, he was very happy. <laughs> a few days after, he said, Massimiliano Doriano, I love you, but... The contractor in New York say that I did this in three months. I need to spend something, no modest, but something quite good. Mm -hmm. he, want, he, he needs three years to build. I did the cost is ten times that you announced. Typical architect. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, we say, we want to build this. And then uh, we remember some Italian guy that was a very small factory in the north of Italy. Mm. We called them, him. He arrived. He said, I am very happy to work with you. And after I showed the project, I showed this. I show even this. Even this! <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's true, eh? I love what it says here, not part of Armani space. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but then uh, uh, it takes uh, 10 minutes, and after I said, Yes, I can do. <laughs> in which way? No, I built this in my factory. Yeah. And after I cut in pieces. Yeah. And I ship this in New York. Yeah. And after I rebuilt. Yeah. He did it. Uh. That is unbelievable. This is Italian, eh? 
Sì, 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 tipico l'Italia. <laughs> you can all see this uh, in uh, other country, no? China, perhaps. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, perhaps China. And you know, it's exactly this. The project is this. Uh, and after there are small projects, like uh, this uh, church. Yeah. I am uh, not the real champion of the faith. Faithful, but uh, we built inside. There is a cube mm. in another cube, and the light came to bring this. Now I explain you better. This is concrete because it was tied in mm. steel, aluminium, a, a glass. Yeah. Say so, please. Now I want to do a wall. Yeah. <laughs> really wall. Yeah. And the wall, like uh, Lucan said, is mm. uh, almost is one meter or one meter, one meter say 50 centimeters. Yeah. <laughs> this is a wall. Well, yeah. This is the wall. Yeah. And then uh, we did this. But this is like a cube that you've sculpted from the inside. Yeah. And this takes light inside. Yeah. This bring a light. Yeah. It's completely suspended. Mm. And there is another small project. Mm. This is another. We have time. Eh? Tell me. Eh? We have time. Eh? Uh, yeah. Another 15 minutes. Yeah. 15 minutes. Keep, yeah. Uh, I go very fast now. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, one day. One person called me and said, I am a Shimon Peretz. He said, he was in the night, always in the night. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> said, tell me, tell me, tell me. He said, no, I want to do a project because I love the project, the course that you did in Bordeaux. I want to do a project. I want to do Peretz Center for Peace. Uh, no, we, yes, to put together Arabs and Jewish. Hmm. Where? Oh, we have no place. <laughs> this was worse than my friend Nardini. We have no site. And budget? No, we have nothing. <laughs> nothing. Perhaps we will see with some donors. And after you say, show me something, uh, I go to Florence, if you can come, uh, we, we speak. Hmm. I don't know where, what, uh, what is uh, the program. And they did this model. And after we have a meeting, uh, hmm. it is, uh, you see, this uh, the detail. Yeah, yeah. Eh? You see this. Uh, many times, some people call me to see to to see in which way I did this detail. <laughs> say, Very easy. This is a glass. This is another glass. This is all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, this is very dramatic. Till yeah. uh, we did uh, all these pieces. Are uh, many. Uh, there are, this is a really by end, mm. the precasting. Yes. My, in the building site there. And after, it's a really dramatic inside too. And after there is a, a small convention room, mm. which there are glass. To imagine that we are glass here. Yeah. I say, no, we have to put glass behind. Why? You, you discover. The site uh, that he, he took, he take, is uh, 100 meters far from the sea. And I said, we have to see the sea. And we have to see if uh, there are someone, some ships, or some people without flag, without country, without nationality, that are coming from the sea. We have to say, we have to say, oh, come on, come on inside. 
This is the really reason of this window. This, uh, this, uh, uh, is very close with the area is in Jaffa, yeah. or Yaffo, yeah. area in which there is a cemetery, Arab cemetery. And this is the last picture that we had <laughs> before I died. Okay. Yeah. Two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. He was 92 years old. He had to leave uh, to go with the son Kissinger yes. to have a lecture with him, yeah. with uh, 100 uh, in uh, Canada, with the uh, 100 journalists. Mm. Uh, it was the, this, uh, we spent the, the la one day together. Yes. All the day, uh, he told me something very interesting. He said, there is not democracy without innovation. There is no demo the innovation without democracy. Mm. Democracy is nothing, innovation is nothing. They work together. Yeah. He told me this, and after this is in Tbilisi, uh, we did this for democracy. This is a democracy house yeah. for a crazy president of the republic that is very tall. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he declared war to the Russia. Yeah. You remember? I did, yes. Yeah. Saakashvili. Yeah. He wanted to do this because inside there is a, the possibility to have a passport, to have a paper document without a pay. Without pay. And this was uh, 11 uh, leaves in wood. And this is another piece that they wanted uh, to have uh, uh, one museum and uh, one for the music. And this was done by Italian company. They are not so bad. It is uh, Paris. The archive, uh, there is uh, one bridge guy that di did this. Show you what. We can make uh, art team. This one. Mm. Gormley. There is a big exhibition now of Gormley. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this he did uh, for us. Yeah. In the water, it go through the building. Mm. But again, you've got the differing surfaces, the surface of water, which is moving in that picture, the surface of the building, which is very still. This is still, and yeah. that is uh, dramatic. Yeah. This is the place where you can live. Yeah. This is a place that you archive your document. Mm. Tower, towers, towers. Another tower, yeah. We finish this tower now. The, this, uh, this is for the use of hair. For, we can call for sustainability. It's, uh, <laughs> it's very sophisticated system for, for using energy. Where is this? In uh, Shenzhen, yeah. this was under construction. Yeah. And then now there is uh, two, two projects. And after we go to take uh, dinner, no, all together. <laughs> <laughs> I invite you my, with my heart. <laughs> 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 then, uh, do you want to know the story of this project? It's a very stupid story. I was against politics. I never liked the politics. Uh, honestly, I have to tell you. The mayor of Roma was the uh, nice mayor, the best mayor that we had. Yeah. I was fighting against him because uh, I was not really convinced, but he was very good. And after we had uh, never project in Roma, uh, and after happened some things that uh, uh, they wanted to do a competition for conventional, but this was just done yeah. <laughs> to someone. Yeah. 
Some another architect. Very good architect. British architect. Okay. And the jury, and the jury was another British architect. Okay. Very distinguished architect. Okay, yeah. And the organization of the competition was done by Ricky Burdett. Yeah. I tell the name now. But after was the open competition of 700 uh, and more. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it was anonymous. I was in the five, six selected. Yeah. For the short list. This was uh, the big uh, mistake. <laughs> and after I started with this idea, mm. I want to do something like uh, quanta, something like fractali. Mm. In, fra in a cage. Yeah. Fractals. Yeah. In a cage. They want to go out. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this was the first drawing said that it's a it's a, yeah, enough for you to this. It's a ninety-nine. Yeah. Uh, to build this I take uh, a lot of time. And after this was the model when I won yeah. the competition. And after I build, it's, uh, it's inside something I try to go out. Mm. Inside this, there is something interesting inside. Textile. Mm. It is a geometry against geometry. This yeah. geometry was uh, this was done not uh, in that time was uh, not the system parametric. Yeah, yeah, not at all. It was just uh, rhino, but no parametric. It was very complex. To, and this is inside. But we did a lot of models. Then models was the way to explain to, to everybody the project. It's interesting because one of the things I've been thinking about is that your buildings are very much about a setting for performance or for movement. And you had that one image of a dancer of, is that one, one, what is it, one back? One back, I think. But anyway, what I, I suppose the question I want to ask is when you're imagining these, these spaces, um, do you imagine the way people move through them? And do you sometimes want to, uh, you know, uh, choreograph a uh, dance? You know, you, you have, when you became a little bit more in, with the years, mm. you understand in this way. In the morning, around five, six o'clock in the morning, in your bed, mm. you are blind, you don't see. But you can put the light inside. We put a staircase, no. We put this light, three lights. Mm. One is direct lights, one light is indirect lights, another light is magic. Mm. When you put magic lights, you are blind, you don't see. Yeah. You dream, yeah. you yeah. don't know if you are. Mm. You are not aware. Mm. You may wake. Mm. It's exactly this. It's a performance. Yeah. Then you can imagine the, the performance. You are in very strange mm. situation. Mm. Uh, this is, uh, they use a lot for performance. You see, yeah. this is a theater. Yeah. And this is inside of this uh, big, big cloud. Mm. Everybody called this in Roma, La Nuvola. And inside there is 1,870 yeah. sets. In only one, there is only one feet. I don't show everything. The point. Mm. And nobody knows that today, they are very stable. Yeah. 
and it's in the night. And it's a, a glass box. Mm. Uh, and this is the last. Okay. <laughs> we are perfect. <laughs> on the time. On the, <laughs> this is the first idea of the project. We were invited in China uh, 2008 for airport. I never did an airport in my life before. Yeah. Never. I say, but uh, uh, which way? What is an airport? And then uh, what happened was, uh, I tell you, what happened was that one day we are in Las Vegas, the worst pay play site in the world. No, beautiful, beautiful. Learning from Las Vegas, okay, okay. But uh, there is a, a one client with the wife. They come and they buy us a restaurant. You cast, I think, very bad. I never like it. Yes. They have a box. I say, this is a gift for you. We open the box. We, we saw the paper. We didn't see what it was in the box. I don't remember. It was, I didn't care. We saw this. It was a paper. could be three-dimensional. Mm. It's the paper for emballage. Yeah. For sending something. Yeah. yeah. And this is, was the paper. Yeah. This is uh, the really origin of the project of Shenzhen. Mm. We, we never say this. We say, well, we, uh, we did the four or five algorithms. Uh, yeah. But this is, was the beginning. Yeah. And because this, after now, you see, this is the light. Yeah. You bring the light all the day. Where is it? It's there. It's tight. Okay. <laughs> Can we? Oh. It's the old dimension. Hmm. This texture is uh, no. You see, it's a really dimensional. Yeah. And we did 26,000 pieces. <laughs> For this reason, there are, my friend Chinese, they are very good. But what, what this roof does is it overwhelms the retail outlets, which is quite nice. No, so you go, great. it's airport. Yeah. Yeah. Go, the, yeah. the, the, the people live there. But we did even all these yeah, yeah. yeah. We did even this one. This, okay, yeah. Because they want uh, uh, air conditioner, I say, but we can live without in this space, because mm. it's very high. Say, so, no, I, I did uh, this uh, tree. Mm. Now you understand better. Yes, uh, this is the way which we work, mm. which uh, Dorian and me, we try to design the landscape yeah. always. Yeah. What is for us uh, is our life. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. I think that remarkable combination of the ethereal and the, the tangible, you know, that the, it's difficult sometimes to tell what's a piece of form and what's a piece of reflection. And you make all of that somehow feel real. I think it's extraordinary. But thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>